Yo, 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 this is Reviewing Rebels. It's your boy Keese, aka the People's Champ. Uh, today we're doing The Sandlot, 1993. 1993. Uh, uh, listen, I go by the name of Dom Cruz, aka I was one years old when this movie came out. Yo, 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 yeah. it's your boy Tony Banks, <laughs> aka he Barry Bonds. Thought about a Reviewing Rebels. Not even thought about. I think his uh, mom was in high school. Probably. This is this my first time watching the movie, bro. Same. Yeah, I feel yeah. you. Um, I probably I seen need the old back. Like two, <laughs> so not the in two thousand. So you you seen this in theaters? No. God damn! Did this go to theaters? He probably did. He was I like he was what like twenty. Yeah, I think it did. He was like twenty two when he when <laughs> twenty two. My God. Um, real quick about this. So you know who Babe Ruth is? Yeah. He's the person that made candy. Man. Well, Shut I know that. I know the, the candy. But... <laughs> no, nah, so I'm I'm looking Is at the candy bar even related to him at all. Yeah, he or... used to be on it. I think. Oh, okay. when's the last time you seen a Babe Ruth candy? I haven't. When's seen the one last in time years? you seen anybody say I look up to Babe Ruth? Stop this myth. And then I look up his home runs. I said, damn, maybe he is him. That's just like 700. There's only like three <laughs> people in that club, but he also played for 22 years. Whoa. He was born in 1845. He quit in 1948. Any steroid use? Back then? I don't think they even had steroids no. back then. I mean, he also was playing when things yeah, wasn't allowed. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, that's why I said I, I don't never I don't hear A Rod talk about, yeah, that was my inspiration. None of that. I think that ghost is done. Yeah. But um yeah, Sandlot, uh, uh nineteen ninety three, also movies that came out in ninety three four was with it was Adventures Hawk and Finn, definitely not. Cop and a half, never seen it. The Crush, Jack the Bear. When a stranger calls back, mm. the sequel yeah. to When a Stranger Calls. I didn't know no. there was a sequel. I didn't know either. I'm just maybe I'm BSing. No. Uh, incident proposal. So we made the right choice, right? Other than incident. I mean, indecent yeah. proposal would have been a good indecent, one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, director David Mickey Evans, starring a bunch of people I don't know: Tom Geary, Mike Ventor, Patrick Rennie, Chauncey Lep. Uh, yeah. Only people I knew yeah. were uh, the, the little boy from the Michael Jackson yes. movie. Yep. And yep. Yeah, uh, was uh, it Marley. David Leary or something? Yeah. Or the, yeah. The, the Tino was in there movie. too. Tito. Tino. Santino? Santino who? He, not, was, he was in there. Not the white dude. Santino. He, he, he was in there, right. oh, yes, Wendy Peppercorn. Right? Yeah. He said what? Wendy Peppercorn. She was uh, the sheriff from Scream. Scream oh. 4 and Scream 5. She's in here? Yeah. I don't she see was her a lifeguard. Oh, really? You're not credited on here. <laughs> no? Nah. Wouldn't the lifeguard that he, he kissed? Mm-hmm. That she not on here. Huh. Um, all right. So comes out April 7th, 1993, 20th Century Fox. This is the second in the row we've done. 20th Century Fox. Uh, at 101 minutes. All right. Budget or uh, box office? Can you go first, son? Yeah, I'll go budget. Uh, 23 million. Budget Ooh. for twenty. That seems high. As a fuck. Uh, box office. Yeah. I'm gonna say forty-seven million. All right, so budget was seven million. Perfect. Box Perfect. office thirty-four point three million. Okay, I'm close. Yeah. I um, figured the budget was real low. We didn't have yeah, nobody right. in it. Right, you didn't do nothing. The most was that dog. The most money they spent James on James Earl Jones. Yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah, you know he was. He's like ninety now, so he was sixty in that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, box office: the film grows four million in its opening week in, and further goes on to make thirty-two million through ticket sales. Figures of worldwide VHS and DVD sales are estimated to be about another seventy-six million since its release. Both on VHS and DVD, the film has became a cult favorite. Yeah, I would agree. Definitely a cult yeah. classic. Yeah. So how far did you get? In? I know you didn't see it. Uh, the last twenty-three minutes, up until oh, the, yeah, last the last twenty-three minutes. minutes. Yeah. The dude with the lifeguard, he goes on the. What I forgot is they go into their older selves. Yes. Mm. All right. So when Benny, so he eventually plays for the Dodgers yeah. at the end. So Benny's uh, older self is his real life brother. Oh. Who, who was an LAPD cop who dies of cancer in real life? Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Um, yeah, that dog. <laughs> bummed us out. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, um, other than that, I don't see those actors around. That dude, you wow. know, that kid looks like Jesse Smollett, though. The black kid. The black kid. Yeah, he, he looks does like. Kinda the, have you know, they were brothers in a movie. 
Were they? Yeah. Um, um, last movie I seen him in was People Under the Stairs. Oh, yeah, he was in there, too. Yeah, but yeah. You said he wasn't a fan of this movie, huh? So you seen this after Phone Booth? Yeah. I could see how that could you be. You played yourself. I mean, yeah. it, was, it, was, could be. it was still a, a good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, uh, geared more towards kids. Yes. Or like preteen, yeah, maybe like 11, 12. Like see, I'm watching it as an adult yeah. for the first time. You'd be like, Yeah, I know, this? yeah, what is this? Yeah, especially yeah. like with like the narration. I was like, Oh, okay, I yeah, can see, yeah, I can see what yeah. audience yeah. this is for. Uh, but just like finally watch a like classic movie like yeah. that that everyone talks about, yeah, everybody talks about. Will it, I yeah. finish the last 23 yeah. minutes? Probably, Probably not. not, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the famous line? <laughs> You don't know the famous line? It was the the him not knowing who Babe Ruth was. The You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah everybody knows that one. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. like a girl. Go like yeah. a girl. Yeah, we were talking about that one before. Yeah. Oh, really? That they made that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that been around. Yeah, after I was done watching the movie, they tried to upload Sandlot Two. I said, absolutely nope. not. <laughs> absolutely not. I woke yeah. up and Sandlot Two was on. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, what is this about? It's about his little brother. Mm. How'd you guys watch this? I watched uh, it through Prime. I watched it on. Was it was a Prime. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and, and these kids be yeah. looking alike. I remember I watched soccer movies, football movies. They look like they the same kids. That remember that fat kid with the freckles? Loki. He be in every kid. He know. He know. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like they don't pick kids like that no more to be in same kid movies no yeah. more. Yeah. yeah. When did you? How old were you when you first seen it? Ooh. Um. Probably. I don't think I saw it when it first came out. Uh. You said it came out in 93? 93, April 7th, yeah. I don't remember seeing it for the first time. Uh, I think about 96? Really? Yeah. Was the kids talking about it? Because um, you were playing Little League around that time, right? Or no? Yeah, I was definitely playing Little League. And people League. was talking about it? Yeah. yeah. So I, was, I was probably like 10, 11. Mm. Yeah. Anybody said, let me be like Benny the Jet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was thinking about let me be yeah. like King Griffey Jr. Yeah, of course. That's <laughs> but, what I think the next one should be about. Like, yeah, they, they ain't no documentaries dope. about King. Yeah. Y'all like, this man didn't exist. act like King. Yeah, yeah been right. Influence exactly. Every little black yeah, kid to play for baseball. Yeah, for real. For real, for real. So, all yeah. right. Um, you guys. All right. So, far as prequels, sequels, remakes, leave it alone. All right, so you already know it has a sequel, 2002, I mean 2005, a directed video sequel in which the Sandlot gang is featured and the only returning cast member is Jer- James Earl Jones as Master Moon, <laughs> whatever his name was. Evans also returned to direct the sequel, and which is the director, and voice Small's younger brother, Johnny. So where was he at the whole time? But no, it's 10 years after Sandlot. Then they go on to make a third sequel or a second sequel, oh. the Sandlot heading home in 2007, Another direct to video sequel starring Luke Perry as Tommy cool. Santa, the last name I can't pronounce, who gets knocked back to 1976. That's not bad. Get back to 1976 okay. from 2005 and relives his childhood. And Chancey Leopardi Leopard, uh, reprises his role as Squints. So Squints cool. reprises his role. And um, so I was going to pitch my prequel or series, but. It's one coming out. So there's a prequel film was announced in 2018. Oh, As of 2019, a TV, a TV series with an original cast is in work for Disney Plus as a re- result from Disney's acquisition from 20th Fox. I would have said a series, not with the original cast. Because what are we doing? They old as yeah, same. like, yeah. let's just, you know, get it. Well, one of them old enough to be James Earl Jones now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Shit, I think you guys don't know. So this is a special one. Wait, wait, what are you? You gonna leave it alone? You gonna? Oh, oh yeah, I'm sure you. Uh, I'm, sure I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a yeah. childhood classic. Yeah. I mean, I threw it on, and I I asked my son to yeah. come watch it with me. And he's like, No, nah, I'm I'm past. I'm past. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. he sat there, Yo. and the next thing I know, his tablet is down, and he's just sitting there watching. Always oh, watching it. He was. Oh in wow. It. And that's how I felt when yeah. I first saw it. I was uh, like, Oh, this is. This this was set in the fifties. I didn't know that. I thought it was the 60s. Oh, same thing. But yeah, it was definitely. You <laughs> yeah, know, I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Crow. That black kid would not been there with them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what about you? What'd you What'd you get the movie? Even. He for sure wouldn't have been in the pool with him. Oh, no. <laughs> the no. nigga <laughs> out the pool. I definitely wouldn't have been. Um. Yeah, I don't got no reviews for it. It's, it's a movie. It said it was a movie. I'm crying. All right, uh, shit. I think you guys don't know. All right, so you probably won't know. 
But in January, we did Haunted House, National Security, and How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Who has the longest running time? Like, what do you mean running time? Like, like oh, in the all those movies? movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they again? All right, so Haunted House, Marlon Wayans, National Security, Martin Lawrence, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, Martin Lawrence, National Security. National Security. We'll How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Really? How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is 118 minutes. You do the math on that. And National Security is 88 minutes. Oh, that's just... It's uh, I thought you just meant, under two hours. I thought you meant longest run time like, yeah. in the theater. Like oh. how long the movie oh, stayed in theater. Oh, makes sense. I was like, that oh, makes makes sense. Sense. It was. Yeah. I feel like it would still be How to Lose a Guy in 10 really? Days. Yeah, it probably would be, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I, I mean, we did National Security. That shit was in and out. Really? Uh, February, we did Deliver Us from Eva, Cradle to the Grave, Bringing Down the House. Mm. Who has the bigger budget? What was it again? Deliver us from the cradle to the grave. And bring it down the house. Bring it down the house. Bring it down the house. Or who did the most in the box office? Bring who did the most in the yeah, box bring office? Down the house. Cradle. Ooh, yeah, you might be right. Bring it down the house. That's such a good movie. Bring it down the house. Yeah. Deliver us from Eva did 17.6. Cradle to the grave did 56. Uh, bring it down the house did 164. Yep. Right. Uh, director David Mackey Evans directed another baseball movie other than The Sandlot. Uh, a, The Rookie, B, Sandlot 3, C, Ed, or D, Angels in the Outfield. Angels in the Outfield. Pretty sure you just said he did Sandlot 3, right? No? Am I tripping? I'm going to go with Sandlot 3. All right, so I said Sandlot 2 he did. Sandlot 2. Yes. Oh, okay. Angels in the Outfield, no. The answer is Ed with the monkey. I don't even know what that is. With the monkey, Ed, you never seen that? Oh, shit. But All Angels right. in the Outfield and the Rookie are top notch. Yeah, that is true, too. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Benny the Jet, real name, Michael Anthony Viterra or whatever, played in another sports franchise film. Oh. What was that franchise? Mighty Ducks. There you go. I was going to say hockey. There you go. <laughs> Mighty Ducks 2 and 3, yep. Uh, real quick, so Benny the Jet, whatever his name is, retired in 96. Matthew? Yeah, and became a firefighter for LAPD. Uh, not for LAPD. LAFD. For, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, in 2002. Huh. So he's about to retire. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, that's so Still, crazy. Good for him. Yeah. Uh, James Earl Jones' last movie was Lion King, Star Wars, or Coming to America? Uh, Lion King. Coming to America. Coming too. to America. He wasn't yeah. on the most recent Lion King? Oh, yeah, Coming to America. That was like 2017. Yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, man, that's all I got for Sandlot. Did he come back though for Mufasa? He did. Yeah, right? he did. Yeah, oh, okay. he did. And yeah. Rise of the Skywalker. They go yeah. for him forever. He have his voice used. Well, I thought you said for Star Wars, they don't even call them no more. They oh yeah, they just re- recycle it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But he still get credit. Yeah, yeah. Call a check. that's true. That's all yeah, that matters. Yeah, that true. In the yeah. Middle. Just imagine Vin Diesel group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's his name is Rocket. I hear he don't have to do. Oh really? He don't oh, come no, in no more. He does. He does. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, man, that's all I got for the revisit of Sandlot. Hope you guys enjoyed our takes on it. For somebody being born way before it, somebody being born a year from it, and somebody who lived it. Yeah. 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 Three aspects. I can't wait to see when we finally hit a movie that you really went to the theaters and you can capture what that feeling was like. Yeah. 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 Let's get to it. Damn, yeah. we haven't done one. Not yet. Nah. Uh, I've been Dom Cruz, uh, Reveal Rebels. Yeah, we have. Peace. Peace.